Hi there, sign of Virgo. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. This reading is channeled by me through your angels, your spirit team, and we are going to see what it is that they want to pass on to you today, what message it is. So I'm using Osho Zen Tarot and we're just going to, actually we're just going to pull some cards and see what wants to come out. I really don't feel like um, an actual spread here is needed. I have the lovers and I have the chariot in reverse. So something on pause regarding a soul mate connection regarding crossroads. <clears throat> Okay, spirit messages for Virgo. What do you want them to know? Messages for Virgo. What do you want them to know? A lot of stuff that's like wanting to come out, but it's not. So I'm not going to take it. Oh. Okay. Ace of Cups in the reverse. The page of wands knight i mean no not the knight the king of pentacle in the reverse the five of swords you got another five five of wands in the reverse and the six of pentacle in the reverse so let's get two more here um ah. okay right off the bat it feels like there's a switch in commitment there's um definitely some kind of surprise coming regarding whatever the good news is that the page of wands represents it feels like because of some kind of either it's animosity or or just a lot of comparing back and forth that's causing some kind of um arguing or there's a need to be away from distractions and from games not wanting to be distracted, not wanting to have, don't want to participate in any drama. And so the King of Pentacle in the reverse and the Six of Pentacle in the reverse is something that is, is like a, a commitment over something that is so uneven. I mean, you can be over the finances, but um, when like nobody else is doing anything to help, uh, that's where that six of pentacles becomes off balance because if it is balanced, then people are able to get along together and compromise and I help you, you help me. There's an issue with the commitment and I don't know if this is representing you or maybe this is Taurus energy, both of these. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be a Taurus, but it is it is a Taurus energy for both. Um. So what is up with the money? With the money? In the family there because okay so like then there's good news <laughs> that comes in really unexpected and you're being told to give the ace of cups to yourself you're being told to invest in self-care self-love and to conserve your energy so you're being told to rest up also to rest up so what is the good news i want to know what the good news is it feels like this is something you're either getting away from or somebody else is like, there's a change. Yeah, the Four of Cups, you're just kind of like over a situation, very dissatisfied and over it. So a withdrawing is kind of the norm for the Four of Cups. It'd be normal for you to uh, want to withdraw and go within. And stars, okay, anchor, that's good. That's good, that's good. All right, we're going to use a siren song, which combination of the Lenormand and the Kipper decks. Whoa. Oh, we have the anchor. It really did come out. So you don't see that there is like some kind of big trade coming up. I know that sounds really weird, but like a, a trade, it could be even like a trade off. Like what you don't see is that life is taking something out, but, it, but going to offer something much better for you. And you don't see that. You'll be getting together with people, maybe coming together with somebody that you're just now starting to get to know, or you would like to get to know better, better, or they would like to get to know you better. Either way, it's a good outcome. You have the good outcome card, 15. 
it's very very similar to the lover's energy um it might be a new passionate beginning it might be the start of something that this page of wands is indicating like one thing coming out and then there's a trade for something much better in life in general um you have the child card which if it doesn't represent a child can represent a new beginning Mm, or you could be having issues with somebody and uh, needing money or support from them. That's possible too. So what else? This brings in stability and um, good commerce. So that's good. We have false person. Not wanting the drama and not wanting the distraction. If something isn't reciprocal to the point where it's letting you know this is not your person, then that false person card will come out. Somebody's intentions, they might say that they're wanting to do this for you, that for you. But it, it never comes true, you know. Hmm. Um, all right, so... What about the Five of Swords? What's that doing? The key? <laughs> oh, you know how sometimes the key is is, is being uh, upset over something enough to be like, it's got to change? That might be the key. So, yeah, in a way, too, if you're using comparison as something to let you know what you really want or what you you know what you feel like you deserve i don't know the key comes out when there's a solution and right now it's saying that the solution is not necessarily getting along with this energy we have the um the rich girl card or the wealthy woman card coming out whoa and another woman card, which this is usually the woman or a woman female that is outside of yourself. Somebody else's kid. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Somebody else's kid. The mountain to climb. I wonder if it has to do with self love. Well, I mean, we all know we can move mountains, right? So, it's just a mountain. You'll be fine. What else? Theft. Somebody not letting you know their intentions. And, okay, so since theft is coming out, there can be a little bit of corruption with what whatever whoever is trying to be in charge of like the finances the family over the family with the thefts card um whoa because we have two women one of them is pointing to the key okay why do we have theft um because also I think it has to do with somebody's intentions. That's what it feels like. What What is the theft card about here, please? Spirit? Sudden wealth in the reverse. Or sudden wealth, sudden wealth. What else? Really? Somebody's intentions? Um, having something to do with really just wanting some money or yeah and i would so i would really watch out with that um i would watch out with distractions and being and trying to be pulled off of whatever it is that you're doing especially if it lets go of any kind of like authority over the finances in the family i don't know why but that's really coming out strong it, it's not often that you get both of those cards coming out with great fortune so you got to be careful with the people um, that are in your life and why they're in your life. And I, I don't know, but I feel like that might have something very significant to do with this. What about the mountain? <clears throat> Unexpected income. Unexpected income. And change. Don't resist it. 
don't resist it because it's in the reverse. And then I have marriage. So it's a change in commitment. It's a change with soul contracts. It's a change in general. Wealthy man on the bottom could be a benefactor or somebody wanting to help. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So whatever this fortune is, it's almost like you're uh, protected. I have the cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Four-leaf clover, a great or good fortune. It could be also somebody trying to interfere. I don't usually get that with the king of pentacles, but it could be. Um, so good luck in trade and commerce is, is kind of like being highlighted with the four-leaf clover, too. What about this um, new passionate beginning and the good outcome? What's this about? Who is it about? What's it about? What's it about? Taurus energy again. The bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Wanting you to stand your ground uh, and definitely get grounded. Right? Taurus energy. Get grounded. Firecracker. Excitement. Hmm. Okay, compliments from an admirer. <clears throat> and it might be coming because of being able to show yourself the self-love that you need and then that being your attractor in a way. I have broom, new home, new attitude, candle, you'll be shown the way if you're curious on like, how is this going to happen? And a basket, recognition and reward for merit. Recognition, reward for merit. Teapot, deep, deep friendship with someone of the same sex on the bottom of the deck. Let's get some 12-12 on that when I was going to end this, actually. Let's let's close out the reading with angel answers. If you need something longer, Virgo, always reach out to me in the description box. This is my, woo, this is my uh, connection to my website. Within the next few weeks is what I have for your change within the next few weeks and have that you need to just trust this process. There are opportunities coming to you that maybe even now you don't see. Okay, so like and subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Love and light. Bye Virgo.